Welcome to today's video. We are back at Yashio Factory for something that has absolutely nothing to do with Sylvia's, believe it or not. We're here because it's time to start modding the KTR, my little K van. And as you can see, we have a nice box here from Blitz, which we'll get to in a little bit. What I want to talk about is I know in the last video, I uh, actually made a little bit of a mistake when I was researching this engine. Um, it turns out it does have a K6 in there, but it's a K6A and it's not the same engine that is in the Suzuki GSX-R bikes. I know I made a little mistake there, but it is actually the same engine that is in the Suzuki Cappuccino. It's a three cylinder, 660 CC engine with a turbo bolted onto it. It's the K6A engine from Suzuki. This is also put in a fair few other cars. In fact, the engine is actually the very same engine in one particular model of the Arctic Cat snowmobile. Um, so it's kind of interesting, but anyways, there's a a lot of potential in those engines so i'm really excited about that in the future but anyways today we need to talk about what we are doing this big box here from blitz is going to allow us to lower the car and put some cool suspension in this thing we have a whole bunch more mods coming next week but this car is going to hopefully be not only sound incredible and amazing making all the right noises that an all-wheel drive turbo ktr should be but also starting to look it. Uh, we already got the TEs, so uh, I mean, it's already looking pretty good, but we have a massive gap here. Sideways fist pretty much fits under here, so we need to fix that. And this is what this box from Blitz is gonna do. So let's open this puppy up now. And when it comes to coilovers for these K-Vans, you don't really have much option. Not many companies actually make coilovers for these things. So I was really happy that we were able to find some and it was Blitz as well. So we got ourselves the Blitz Damper ZZRs, I guess. Um, and this is a DA64V, this particular van. So I'm pretty hyped. This should come with everything we need. I love this though. This kind of, all the like uh, instructions here on all the um, uh, locking collars and stuff like that. Gives you torque specs for it. I don't think I've ever seen anyone give me torque specs for locking collars on coilovers, but hey, it's all good. Um, ooh, there are the C, oh, the C um, wrenches. These things for holding the brake lines. And then everything wrapped pretty well and individually. Let's get these all out. Some nice, uh, these I think go on the springs and that helps like stop noise and stuff, I think. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna get these all out of their box and then we're going to go and put these in. Now, obviously the rear of this car, um, it is gonna have springs and shocks separate from each other. It's not a true coilover system, but in the front it will. So that's gonna be pretty cool. So let's get started and get this coilover install done. I don't think anyone has ever done a coilover install on a K-Van on YouTube, um, at least in English. <laughs> so I'm gonna probably, I think, these are the bolts here under this plastic here for the top of the coilovers. So we may need to take this plastic off here to get to it, which looks like it's pretty easy, just like two screws. But yeah, hopefully we get this done really fast. Taking a quick moment to tell you about today's video sponsor, which is Dafsky. And as you can see behind me, we are at the park to check out the beautiful sakura trees in full bloom. And here's the best thing. Dafsky is an online store dedicated to selling only the coolest and sickest air fresheners for your ride. And we collaborated together to bring you a Japanese authentic sakura scented air freshener for your car. This clips onto your AC vent. And as you can see, the S15 and the sakura trees are there in the background. It's super cool. I hope you guys love it. Head to dafsky.com. Go grab yourself some as well as some of the other air fresheners and your car can start smelling like it does right here in this park right now. The sucker is seriously amazing. If you don't know what it is, it's the cherry blossom trees here in Japan and it's a huge seasonal thing. And it pretty much, I mean, I don't know if you can see behind me, but you can see a lot of people under them drinking and having parties with friends and stuff. It's a huge cultural thing. With that guys, let's get back to the video. Wanted to do a little comparison for you guys. So here's one of Okachan's Yashiro factory great spec coilers for the S15. And this is a front one. And look at this side by side to the one of the front ones going in my cave van. Look how thin the springs are in comparison to that. It's so cute. It's like we pulled these out and all I could keep saying was kawaii because it's just the tiniest little coilover has ever existed. The diameter of this as well is so much smaller than this. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> Even just the mounting points are so tiny. It's so cute. I don't know. Do you guys agree with me? Are these the cutest little coilovers you've ever seen in the world? I 
don't know. Anyways, we're going to put these in. Oh, I love that billet hat. That looks so good. Uh, so the goal today is I'm not going to lower this car a whole bunch, probably like one or two centimeters just for now, because we do have some plans with some aero kit and stuff. And I don't want to slam this thing as it is now, because I'm just going to have to raise it when the aero comes, because the aero gives it the look of it being slammed when it's not. So we're going to try and keep these um, at a relatively good height for today, at least. Anyway, so let's get this car jacked up and start working on it. It's not even been five minutes and I'm about to have this first like stock suspension out. This is kind of ridiculous. Looking at these knuckles, I wonder if uh, we could do a cut and shut knuckle on this and get a little bit more angle out of it. I mean, obviously this is all wheel drive, so we got a drive shaft here and I wouldn't be trying to drift this. Um, but if we got another rear wheel drive one, for some stupid fun activities. I wonder if we could cut and shorten that and get a bit more angle out of it. Hmm, because it's on the front of the knuckle, right? Not the rear of the knuckle. Interesting. Anyways, let's get this uh, coil over in. I wonder if there's a left and right. I probably need to pay attention to that. There will be. Um, but, oh wow, that's a lot lower. <laughs> I probably need to uh, wind these down a fair bit once it's in. Um, and I think we want this one because it needs to go that way. Yes. All right, let's put these in. It's been like another five minutes and everything's bolted in, torque to spec, ready to go. They include a bracket and everything here. Make sure your brake line's all cleared. Um, this is pretty going pretty fast and simple and easy. I'm wondering where the catch is at this point because I did not think that it was so easy to put coilovers in a van. Um, yeah, we haven't gotten to the rear yet and that's a solid axle so I'm expecting that to be fun. Anyways, let's get the wheel back on, do the other side and then move to the back. Finish with both sides on the front now. Let's lower this thing down and see where she sits. I'm hoping it's going to be at least a couple centimeters lower than the stock suspension. So let's find, find out. Come on, hurry up. Get all the way down. Oh damn, that's actually pretty high. <laughs> Did we change anything? Oh, it's it's higher. Oh my gosh. I guess, ah, oh, you're right. I didn't compensate for how much this must compress under the weight of the car. Okay, so we're gonna have to take the front wheels off and adjust that again for sure. Both sides are about the same right now. Okay, not a big deal. It's definitely a lot higher though, <laughs> jeez. Okay, we're gonna fix that and then we'll get onto the rears. Just finished readjusting the coilovers. Let's see where it sits now. Like I said, I don't want to go too low today because we've got to wait for the aero kit to arrive to really know. But, oh, that is so much better. And what are we at now, like three fingers? Yeah, we, we, yeah, that's way better now. I can't even get a fist in there. We're like three fingers right now, which is good. Quite nice, Dan. That actually looks a fair bit lower already in the front end. Yeah, the heart, the back end looks so high, it's ridiculous. We'll fix that. All right, well, we gotta move this out of the way so we can get the car off the alignment rack, and then we'll back this one in, and then uh, we'll do the rears on that as well. Whew. Man, what a difference that looks. I mean, it doesn't look super low because you still got that massive wheel gap there, but that's dropped at least like this much now. That's crazy good. We got the K-Van backed into the shop now, and I already jacked it up and put it on jack stands, and I've never worked on doing any kind of suspension stuff with a one-piece axle like this before. So I think it's gonna be actually pretty easy. I've got the jack supporting it right now, but I think if I undo the struts on both sides at the bottom here, I can lower that even more, which will then give me clearance to pull the springs out, get the struts out and switch the new ones in and we should be good. Um, hmm, I think that's how we do it, but we'll find out obviously and we'll get this done. But relatively should be done within a 30 minutes I think maybe unless there's some other big thing that I don't, just don't know about but we'll uh, get these old ones out and go from there
Got the old springs and shocks out. It was super easy like I thought. And I just got the uh, old bumps, bump stops out too. These things are pretty huge and these are the new ones that we're replacing with that came in the kit. Which obviously gives you a little bit more clearance so you can get the car a little bit lower. And we're just gonna, we're gonna uh, screw these in and try and be adults and not talk about how weirdly shaped these things are. And then I'm gonna tighten them with a adjustable wrench and then we should be good. I've already got the nice new struts in there as well. And then I gotta figure out following the instructions in the best of my limited Japanese possible. And we gotta put these in. I know a lot of people accidentally, um, you gotta be very careful and follow instructions on these things because sometimes the adjusters, people put them on the bottom and that's the wrong place. Normally adjusters have to go on the top. It's just a pro tip for you guys, but obviously check the instructions because some car models may actually need them on the bottom. But anyways, let's get this done. So I'm now finishing the rear end. I just put the wheels back on and because I've jacked it up to get the jack stands out and we've got that pressure on there, we can see that we're probably gonna be a little bit lower in the rear than the front right now. But let's bring it down and have a look and then uh, we can make some adjustments. Oof, that came down pretty quick. What are we looking at? Yeah, we are definitely a bit lower in the rear than the front. So we're gonna I'm gonna raise that a tiny bit. Now bear in mind, I know it's not super low and I'd love to go lower, but when the aero kit comes, it's gonna fill in a lot of these gaps, I promise you. And it's gonna give you the illusion that this thing is way lower than it is. In fact, I think we're gonna have to raise the suspension and the coilovers a little bit when the aero comes. Um, but man, this already looks super cool, especially with the TEs. So I'm gonna raise the rear. I'm also gonna look for some spaces tonight to bring the wheels out a little bit in the rear and fill that out a bit more. But that looks really nice. Let's uh, adjust the rear. And we should be done. Let's bring this back up. I love these jacks so much. I need to try and find one second hand on like Yahoo Auctions or something. I'm probably gonna try and soften up the rear a bit too. I've got it set to like the middle, 15. And I'll probably go down soft like another five or 10 clicks. Look how good it all looks up in here. So nice. Like it's it's such a good kit. I'm not gonna lie. Like it went in so simple and easy. I have no complaints. I'm very happy. Should have a nice new exhaust coming uh, in the next few days too this week. Man, I'm hyped. All right, let's get this adjusted. Made some more adjustments. We should be pretty good right now. Let's bring it back up. Get these jack stands out. Oh yeah, that's looking way better now. We are gonna be sitting pretty well right on the money, I think. Yeah, let's bring this down. I think we're right on the money. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, I think we aced that, guys. That's awesome. Yep. Oh yeah, we're looking good. I'm pretty happy with that. Once again, it, we're gonna have to probably adjust it all over again once we get the arrow and stuff on it. But that looks awesome. I can't wait to see what this is gonna feel like driving later tonight. Going to coilovers and proper suspension setup. This thing's gonna probably feel good. Gonna have to hit some tight and windy roads on the way home, I think. Feel this thing out. Oh, I'm excited. Gonna probably help putting a bit more traction down to the ground too. That actually looks really nice. It's hard to tell with the lighting because it's already dark outside, but it's like, it's substantially lower. Definitely a lot lower. It looks cool. It's crazy actually, because I think we've lowered the car like a good like two inches almost, even more maybe. And it doesn't even look like that much from the side, but when you look at it, oh, okay, yeah, like looking from here to here, where the mud flap is, that's definitely a lot lower. And we have a little shuck-in stick here somewhere. This thing, it's what we use for shuck-in checking, which I think is like the 80 mil off the ground. That's just gonna pass shuck-in. <laughs> awesome. Oh, right, hang on, hang on, hang on. We got the proper one here. We got the proper one here. This is the shuck-in one. Oh yeah, we've got a little bit of room there to pass still, so we can go lower once we get the aero kit. Man. I'm hyped, I can't wait to drive this thing. All right, we're gonna clean up and pack up a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna put all the old parts in the box and stuff and into the back of the van. We kind of just had a little bit of a chill party and I don't even know what that means, chill party. We were just chilling and hanging out 
and a customer brought like 30 hamburgers from McDonald's so I hate myself right now and I'm gonna definitely work out when I get home but yeah you two just worked on getting the transmission out of this one Kill Tanish Kata Tanish Kata KTR do Kakui uh, he's really excited about it. Everyone's actually really hyped on the plans that we have for this. And we may, it seems like Okachan wants to get in on it too, and he may be getting one as well. But we got some cool ideas. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really hyped actually. So before I start cleaning everything up, I want to give you guys an opportunity to put down in the comment section what do you think? First mods, coilovers. Next, we've got like an exhaust and a whole bunch of really cool like engine mods coming to make it sound really, really cool. I'm not gonna give away too much more than that. Um, but I think so far we're looking good. And then the aero kit that I'm planning to get, and, and I don't know how long it's gonna take for them to make it because it's not like they have it in stock, it's made to order. But this thing's gonna look really, really cool. And I have some very, very special custom made badges coming for the car too. So we're gonna take those Suzuki ones off and it's gonna be really, really cool. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. It's gonna be some more cool K-Car content coming with the mods on this and maybe some more cars. Um, but with that, I'm gonna clean everything up and we'll pick it up from there. So on my way home now and the car feels insane. There's like no body roll in this thing now for a little K-Van, I'm really surprised. Um, it steers great, it feels like traction's more to the ground. Um, it's definitely a bumpier ride right now, so I'm gonna play around with damper settings and soften it up so it's a little bit better for cruising on the highway and whatnot. But otherwise, the car feels great. Uh, just like any car, I guess, when you throw coilovers in, it makes a massive difference. I'm still really surprised that it took out the body roll though. I was expecting there to still be some, even like being a van, but it's totally amazing. Like I, I could probably grip run this and have a lot of fun. It's kind of insane. Back home now guys, and I'm currently in the merch room because we have a whole new drop coming shortly, and this is all that is left of the JZX100 shirts. And as you guys know, the JZX100 is down right now for the count, and we've got a whole bunch of stuff happening to that soon. But if you guys want to grab yourself one of the JZX100 shirts, these things look incredible, and they're probably one of my favorite shirts. This is all that is left. We've got a couple 2XLs, fair few XLs left and uh, just one L left. So if you guys wanna jump on the Semit.net shop and grab yourself some of these shirts, that would be amazing to sell those out for the new drop that's coming. Of course, we've also got all the usual stickers, air fresheners, and uh, the new flight tags, the lanyards, these keychains, and these are my favorite. These Semit pins are super cool. You can stick them on pretty much anything. If you've got a pair of Crocs that you drive in, throw this on there or anything else like that. So head to semit.net and grab yourself some merch. It helps a whole bunch with the builds and obviously it's supporting me, the channel and everything that we are doing here. And uh, once again, I always like to thank you guys because I would not be in the position that I am in today if it wasn't for you guys watching my videos every day. So thank you so much. Even if you can't go and grab yourself some merch, hitting that like button, sharing the videos with your friends and getting some more viewers on board is always enough. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Um, the KTR, I did notice on the way home when I hit some big bumps, it definitely felt like the rear was hitting the bump stops. So I need to look at how I've set up the springs there. I think I just didn't wind down the collar enough for the spring. Um, so the rear's a little bit confusing. Um, because I'm gonna get Okachan to run me through the instructions because there's a few things I didn't understand with the Japanese. Um, but I, it, there's two parts to adjust it and I don't know if like I adjust the spring, if that's gonna technically adjust the preload because I've never really done the whole like separate shock and spring set up on a car before. I've only ever had true coilovers in all my cars. So uh, that's a learning experience for me, but we'll get that dialed. I'm not too worried about that. And uh, I guess like the next few videos on the KTR and stuff like that, as parts roll in, we'll keep doing those mods. Um, and that's kind of it. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know how excited you are down in the comment section. Smash that like button, write us a comment and subscribe. Get yourself some merch at Semit.net and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Jamata.